Stone. I'm very happy to be introducing Sandra Walter, who is a leader in the field of ascension and has really devoted her life to, to moving the evolution of consciousness and human connection to the infinite, to a more aware understanding of that relationship and who we are. That, that just came to me. Does that sound right? <laughs> Sandra, how are you? Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, brother. It's so, so lovely to connect with you. We have to stop doing this just annually <laughs> and actually see each other and create some content together. Because, I am know, going to be in Sedona in February, so I will look you oh, up. Oh, I'm going to be in Shasta. Oh, okay. oh Sorry, all right. We'll work my, it out. We will, we'll work how it about out. March? Then March or something. March, I'm in Shasta. But come up oh. to the mountain. Gotcha. Okay, we'll do that. But I'm so happy you're here and I'm so happy you are Keep evolving your perspective and opening more mm. people, especially at this time, 2024. This is a magic moment that has not happened before. Correct. Are you feeling it? Correct. It's completely different. Yeah. Completely different. It started yeah. shifting in December for me. And, and now I'm like, oh, my goodness. And, and so many of us that are attuned to our own presence or to mm -hmm. the, the field right now, just feeling... The, the beauty of what unity consciousness is actually going to express as through us this year. So it's, uh, it's very exciting. It's very, so it's what, an exciting time. What are you actually, I mean, I know you have a whole talk to give, but I'm just curious, what are you actually feeling in, in your body and this, and what is totally different in your perception? I had, I think we talked about this last yeah. year, but the presence activations have been coming in where all of a sudden you're connected to the I am presence, which is, mm -hmm. you know, one of the old mastery teachings. All of a sudden it came in. It's taken me two years to get this far to actually integrate it where I wasn't, um, where I didn't feel so spacey and expanded. Mm -hmm. um, so I went through that. Now I am feeling mm, kind of the cosmic consciousness or this star presence, which is what I'm going to talk about today, mm -hmm. um, coming in where you feel the direct energy of these uh, cosmic frequencies, cosmic levels mm. of consciousness, actual star consciousness as part of this solar mm. cosmic Christed ascension that we go through. And it's profound, but mm. instead of having to uh, attune to uh, this dimension, that dimension, this density, that density, that being or whatever, it's all completely unified. So you're kind of right. getting a lot of information at the same time. But I have to say mm -hmm. the, the strongest thing is the heart energy. Your heart actually mm -hmm. gets recalibrated. Mm -hmm. I'm aware of it at the same time that it's happening, but it kind of auto-corrects your realities, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is uh, astonishing. So oh. I feel that... Go ahead. No, no. You, you were going to say something. You feel that oh, way. Yeah. Just because yeah. it's so widespread, the, the folks that I co-create with and and teach just because it's been such a widespread activation that in itself tells me okay a new energy can actually be held in the mm. body in the collective not mm. a one-off as it was in the past but now as a collective and that's that what I was, I was i was going to say it seems embodied in you your physicality the difference your you're grounded in the energies, like mm -hmm. as opposed to like being spaced out by it. You are anchoring them into the 3D, 4D, 5D physicality that we are we're moving which is into. The point, right, which is the point yeah. for all of us to yeah. be conduits of this of this energy, of this transformation. But I have mm -hmm. to say the unity yeah. expression is it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It is isn't that the I, I lost you. Isn't that the um can you hear me? Isn't that the point of ascension is first to collect the energies and then you bring them home in body and then it ignites the cellular structures to activate the biophotonic elements. Precisely. Hey, you want to stay on and I can tighten up the sh whole show right now. 
and we can walk through my notes <laughs> and, and talk about it at the same time, if you like. I mean, I'm well, I can say on for some of that. I mean, I'm actually yeah. at another physical conference, but anyway, oh, no, I'm happy to stay on. No, but please go yeah. ahead. You have a whole reason. No, and if I'm, I feel something, I'll jump in. Sure. Well, what I wanted to talk about today, and this is in relation to the contact conversation, because if everyone's noticed, wow, there's a lot of amplification of all this UFO talk um, uh, presenting right now in the external, as well as the conversation of people um, continuing to desire landings and other, other energies coming into the planet. Um, rather, I, I have to say, from this presence perspective, you get a much broader understanding of what unity consciousness actually is, why those narratives are coming to the surface right now. You start to see the parallel realities and which narratives kind of come up to be released at the same time. So what I, I presented this at um, my convergence last year, and it was it was beautiful because it gave people a sense of their own journey as well as the collective journey of ascension. So if Gaia is going to turn into a star and become a solar intelligence, a more crystalline uh, beingness, everyone on our surface then has to transform. So it's already created in the higher realms. So the light-based divine human becomes our, our quest, our transformation. So all of us that have been pulling all this in all this light and creating the crystalline structures and the recalibration of the heart and the recalibration of our fields so you can hold and hold and hold more love light intelligence in the form because our purpose is not to depart. It's to actually bring in so much more light intelligence, so much of your own true self, pure source consciousness into the form that it actually infuses these realities with a completely mm -hmm. different harmonic and it just changes mm -hmm. the realities for everyone here. Right. Well, if the sun is, if the earth is becoming a star, then these earth bodies, as we increase our awareness and vibratory mm -hmm. um, alignment with the, the body itself will also emerge as star beings, you know, it as does. stars. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, when you make it an active process, uh, I have, you know, I have been a conduit for the solar consciousness since 2013, where they were consistently giving us, I'm a Stargate keeper, so consistently giving um, date passages and influx passages, and they have been dead on for years now, just laying out the whole year and all these dates and everything. And I was like, all right, I guess we'll just go with this. But I was very curious, how do you do that? How do you connect with me to, to tell me what's happening in a galactic center or a different constellation or what's gonna come through Solaris, our sun? And what was provided was, okay, you're actually going to become the presence of star consciousness in the old days it was called light conception. So in the light conception process, you would have these star beings that were kind of untouched by denser energies. And they would come in in a pure way without the without intercourse. They would be birthed into the pure mother vessel, coming in with a pure uh, feminine mitochondrial DNA, et cetera, et cetera, but birthing this star consciousness in form. Now, as a collective going through unity consciousness, we are now being a, a light conception vessel for new light, for new energies, for that star presence, for that star energies. And when we talk about star beings, we're not talking about the Arcturians, the Lyrans, the Pleiadians any longer. We're talking about an actual presence that is expressing itself as stars that help us out throughout this journey. So it, we create the logos within ourselves. The heart changes, you know, it becomes the center of this beautiful crystalline DNA structure, et cetera, so that we can become conduits of this photonic plasma, this mother plasma that's coming in right now that goes right through us, right through Gaia, and actually changes the realities. It makes the old re old realities and old narratives fade away, which is where all the stories of 
old self going away and new self and new earth and everything come from. It's actually an alchemical process that mm. brings these star energies right through the form to change the realities. And I well, it sounds like love it. <laughs> we're talking about plasma <laughs> physics of, of the mm. higher energetic um, morphogenetic field of the humans as they access more of the light essence. So right. the physicality has to change uh, mm -hmm. in order to be, have receptor sites to, mm -hmm. I'm at this conference with Bruce Lipton, he talks about receptor sites. So we need the oh, yeah. greater mm -hmm. light receptor sites yeah. in order to pull the light into the body and the plasma fields so that will mor morph these, these mm -hmm. forms into yeah. light beings, into star beings. I mean, yeah, I it's our responsibility to create the conditions for something new. So mm. literal crystalline structures within the body, literal transformation of the heart into a crystalline stargate, mm. a, a prism shift within your own perception that happens, which is quite beautiful. Mm. We talk about plasma and plasma mm. harmonics. It's literally creating the structure so something new can come through. And I'm very interested in how it's changing right now because some of us that are able to not just uh, receive and, and transmit that, but actually hold it in the form, it's mm -hmm. really affecting the reality. So you become a conduit of mm -hmm. this presence as well as... Um, being able to qualify your light emanations, qualify your mm. thoughts and your deeds and your feelings and your emotions so that you're in a constant awareness of being in alignment with divine perfection, the proper mm. use of life force. And it comes right through stillness and zero point is probably mm. one of the strongest well, for this right well i'll let you go but what comes up for me as you're talking it's like uh the new light is coming through the Plut plutonic field into the aquarian um mm -hmm. holder you know so it's that active right so uh, yeah. but let's get to get i'll either see you in sedona or shasta and we'll form, <laughs> okay. and we'll create new material to you know be map. yes thank you so much for being Wonderful. here and i always appreciate you and love we'll you so soon. much brother thank, thank you, you. All right, loves. I am going to. Uh, we're going to go into since we have. I'm going to. I'm going to do 15 minutes now. So everyone, hearts up. We are catching up with the conference. All right. Light conception is a legacy activation for a, a way, a method of bringing in that star energy or that cosmic Christed energy into form. In the past, as I said earlier, it was, uh, we actually created physical beings. We were bringing masters and bringing these star family into form. Now, everything has changed. Everything has changed. Now, as a collective, and just, just to note here, just pay attention to those who can right now. Willing hearts are moving a lot faster through this process right now. And you're actually learning how to co-create in unity consciousness in a much purer way right now. So if you can not worry too much about the people who aren't awake, just let it be, right? They'll have their moment. But right now, make this your moment. We're birthing this presence in form. I want to go through this little exercise, a little, a little practice here, uh, and just connect you, hold the field for the stars that are in service, just a few of them, because we can't go through all of them during this time. But I just want you to be able to feel stars that are in service. I'm not talking about star family or beings that present as we are from this star. I want you to tap in with the, the pure consciousness of the stars that are in service to the organic ascension. I'm going to use my light signature, just hold up and hold that crystalline field, that infinite Christ field. So take a moment. Let's just all do this together. It is so much more powerful when we do this together. So everyone... Take command of your journey in this now. Drop the mind into the heart. Let's just take a breath there. And just feel, maybe put your hands on your full chest. Take a breath there. 
and just open up to the infinite crystalline stargate of your own heart. Just let it open. Let all the external narratives fade into non-existence. You are that creator being having an experience in this body. So tap into your own local universe right now. Just take a nice calming breath. Maybe use the AUM, A-U-M, that's source as self tone. Just take a tone right there, take a breath and tone right through the heart. Um, just feel it. All of us are just sound creating this light. Just tap into that. And from this crystalline stargate of the heart, just open up your field, open up your ascension column, and just feel for a moment yourself unified with these be beloved stars that we're going to walk through. First one we want to connect with, of course, Gaia, right? Beloved Gaia Sophia. Just tap into her crystalline core, tap into that consciousness that is already in that ascended state. It's already created in the higher realms. Just connect with her heart to heart, zero point to zero point. Feel that source spark within her. Feel the source spark within you connecting. Just breathe and let it open up. Pure source, love, light, intelligence, positive greeting, open up. Just feeling the divine presence, letting any stories or narratives go from the past. Be in the absolute zero point in this now moment. Be here now. Take a breath. Let's tone together. Um, just feeling yourself and the presence of Gaia connected in this now. No separation. Beautiful. As one becoming Gaia, becoming that star presence. Hmm. Let's expand now. Let's go visit one of our neighbors, beloved Venus, holding the energies of beauty, holding the presence of the Hathers, ascended masters. Mm. Feel that beauty, that elegance. Do you feel how that star in service is expressing her consciousness, her solar consciousness, all in divine service, yourself in divine service? Gaia in divine service, Venus in divine service to the pure and true organic ascension. Gratitude, peace, harmony, blessings. Beautiful. Now let's go to our local star, beloved Solaris, holding the templates of the solar cosmic Christ, the Logos, keys to your ascension. You are literally shining part of your soul through Solaris in, in order to project into these realms. Connect with that star in service right now. No separation. Solaris in service. Yourself in service. Connect. Expand. Tap in to that solar consciousness has a lot of information. Don't worry about the trajectory. Just be here now. Gratitude, divine love, divine will, divine presence. Let's tone as one, calling in that stronger connection with Solaris. Take a breath. Holding that field and now expand out. Allow your heart center to expand now, becoming Solaris. Do you feel that presence? Do you feel that service to the organic ascension? Forget about all the old stories and feel the through line, the presence, the purity there for ascension. Beautiful. Let's expand out. We're going to fit. 
visit Sirius now. Now, Sirius has a divine purpose. All the past stories are now resolved. Tune in to what is now. A projector, an instrument, a stargate for the frequencies of divine love. Sirius system has been that for a long, long time. Tap into the radiance of divine love. Feel it. Flow it through your own heart center. Don't be afraid of it. This is you coming into your divine presence. Use that star presence. Use those energies. You felt it. You've gazed at Sirius and seen her flashing at you. Feel that frequency of divine love. Now, if you're capable of holding that, feel it emanating through your heart center, emanating out to all these realms, right? Through Solaris, through all the planetary consciousness, out through divine humanity. Let's anchor it with a tone. Take a breath. Um, radiating out through the field, connecting, no separation. Beautiful. Another key player, Ursa Major. Big Bear. <laughs> Big Dipper. Feel the frequency of divine will coming through those stars in service. You've probably felt it along your journey. In this now, connect with it. Another aspect of divine service, another aspect of our ascension. Consistently in service emanating divine will. Connect, align, Feel the blessings of divine will now emanating through the heart, out through DNA fields, all of these realms. Feel that role of holding unshakable divine will. Beautiful. Let's anchor it into these realms. Take a breath. Um, holding that vibration in the field now. Hmm. Let's visit the Pleiades, emanating creativity, joy, innocence, and a lot of templates and energy for the divine human. Feel that star presence. Feel that divine purpose, mission, service. It may align with your own as an emanator, a radiator, of that creativity, of that joy, of that innocence, of the crystalline human. Let it emanate out through your heart and out through these realms. Let's take a breath together. And tone um, out into the field, playfulness, joyfulness, beautiful. Hmm. Let's visit another star in service, beloved Arcturus, not the Arcturians, the actual star. Feel the emanation. Arcturus holds a unique field for healing, emotional healing, and wisdom of healing modalities of the way to transmute form and old emotions and the past into the present and into the future emanations of unity healing healing through unity consciousness, feel that divine service, not the beings, feel the star, holding that stargate open for that divine flow. Let it flow through your heart and let's emanate that healing wisdom through all of these realms. Take a breath. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's jump to galactic center now, feeling that main gateway into these, into this galaxy, main entry point. If you're a stargate keeper, you connect with there often, but you feel the divine unwavering service to the pure and true organic ascension. Feel that. Feel all the changes emanating through that, connecting us 
to other realms, other stargates, other realities. Feel it coming right through your heart center, right through all of these realms. Take a breath. Om. Emanating that new light, all the frequencies and harmonics needed for the pure and true ascension. Holding that container, holding that service, holding that unwavering dedication to the organic ascension. Hmm. Let's expand now. Let's go to the Paradise Sun. This is a Trinity gateway where the signature of the Logos is held. Beyond the galactic, expand out. And you might feel that trinitized beingness there. That's where that template is held, a gateway, a way to have the ascension frequencies come into these realities. The Trinity, Divine Cosmic Mother, Heavenly Father, Paradise Sons. Here we glow. Connect with it. Feel the heart connection all the way through all those stargates, layer upon layer, coming through in through the heart center, activating that trinitized beingness, opening the gateways to you as a conductor of those frequencies, a conduit of pure source, love, light, intelligence, the infinite Christ. Anchoring it into these realities. Take a breath. Um, beautiful. All right. Expanding now into the Grand Central Sun. The major stargate, the Grand Central Sun. That is the holder of all the frequencies that flow into all of those stargates that we just went through. Feel that presence, huge, vast, in service, in divine perfection, holding all of that energy for our pure and true organic ascension. Feel that gateway to source consciousness. Beautiful. Connecting now through zero point. Take a breath and tone. Om. Beautiful. Now open to pure source love light intelligence. The center of the center of the center in the zero point of your heart that encompasses all of these levels of star presence, all of that consciousness. Just breathe there. Feel it. Feel yourself connected to all of that consciousness and allow those stargate flows to bring that star presence right through your own beingness, right through the heart, allowing it to recalibrate Fully reconnected to source, infinite creator in this now moment. Hold, focus, purity, divinity. Mm. Take a breath and tone. Um. Beautiful. I'll come back into waking awareness. Open your eyes. And you might feel some recalibration in the heart, depending on your consciousness. But just be aware that all of these stargates, all of these stars in service to the organic ascension are available to you in each moment. They are us. We are them. It is pure unity consciousness that we're, we are moving into during this phase of our ascension. So rather than being hyper-concerned about, uh, you're going to get a bigger perspective, rather than being concerned about this being or that being or that presence, allow yourself to expand into that pure unity consciousness and that pure star presence so that your perspective 
can open up to all that you are, to all that is happening here, and to transmute any of the density or the flotsam of the past so you can come fully into zero point instantly and effortlessly. So with practice, it, it goes on autopilot. Your I am presence will reconnect with you and you will feel yourself as part of that beautiful constellation of stargates that are in service to this organic ascension in this now moment. Mm. Thank you, beloveds. It has been an absolute honor to connect with you in this now moment. If everyone is uh, ready backstage to move on, I'm not sure who the, the next MC is, but we are ready to move on or I can keep rolling if you like. Oh, there's Michelle. Beautiful. Mm, thank you, everyone. I am so lit up <laughs> and so grateful to you for the way that you unite us and remind us of how this is done. You are, you're so amazing. And I, I can't even express enough how the way that you use words and language and how that translates in my body to feelings and how all of us here in this container, we keep, we've been talking a lot about creating this container of divine love. And Sandra, I am just blown away by the way that you brought us all into that space and in service to the organic ascension. Uh, you're, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Well, it's such an honor, sister. Thank you so much. I just want everyone to be really aware that it, it's our presence that's doing this. Yes, uh, I'm very uh, seasoned in opening gateways and holding that field in a pristine way, but it's all of us, right? It's all of us, just that little bit of focus. Unity consciousness is so amplified right now. And just you remind little... us, I, I think that we're so ready to be reminded of how to do it Mm -hmm. and, and how important it is to keep that pure frequency to go back to zero point. I mm -hmm. really appreciated what you said about it's our responsibility. It is. It is. We, and it we were, gifted, so mm -hmm. we were gifted this, this human vessel to be on this beautiful jewel of a planet. And mm -hmm. our, our, our gratitude, I, I feel we're being tasked to come into our gratitude for being in this vessel vessel at this time mm -hmm. and that we do have a responsibility to Gaia herself and to others, you know, ourself and others to use our energy wisely, our, our words wisely. And thank you for the reminder and thank you for putting it into practice. Oh, thank yeah. you. Sir. Yeah. It's just such a beautiful phase to actually actualize and physicalize that presence right yeah. now. It takes very little effort. Everyone just practice, get together. Beautiful. Thank you, sister. Yeah, you know, all of us holding a big container, all of us, for, for this unity consciousness to really step forward. And it's quite beautiful. Thank yes. you, everyone. I love you so much. Oh, you can find me at ascensionpath.com if anyone wants to uh, get on my email list. <laughs> <laughs> and and you, do, you do these, you, you gather people together, not only in person, but you also do something every Sunday, correct? Yes. Eight oh, years okay. now, eight years oh of weekly Sunday unity meditations, three times each Sunday, five, eight and 11 AM Pacific time. We've been doing it for eight years. This is how you practice without being online we feel each other. We see each other. We do grid work together. We see the gateways together. It's beautiful. Just step into that field anytime, beloveds. All you have to do is meditate for 30 minutes at those hours. Go to my website, sign up for the light letter. I'll tell you all about it. Um, between Wonderful. that and presence events this year, we have a whole presence collective. There's a lot going on, but it's really fine tuning 
our ascension at this time. You know, I, just, I, just wanna honor, I wanna honor you so much, Sandra. Oh, I, I feel like this is what you said, the year for unity. And I appreciate your authenticity. That's my oh, word yes. for this year is authenticity because I do feel the need to up our discernment muscle when it comes to a lot of people coming online and sharing information. And I really appreciate the purity that you bring forward through your vessel and, and the way that my energy senses your, your love for the human race, your love for our galactic, you know, origins and, it makes me cry right now just thinking about how I feel you. So just mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And Alan, you're back. I'm back. And I didn't I just wanted to say thank you, Sandra, for a lifetime of dedication, but also your own process of awakening is so important because you your own being is what becomes a kind of um, inspiration for others. So thank you. Yeah, you're so welcome. Thank you, everyone. It's been lovely connecting with you this day. I will let you. Thank you so much. Welcome.